Hello everyone, my name is Giuliano Giacoppo and I'm an academic researcher at the Institute of Medical Device Technology at the University of Stuttgart. And I'm going to present you today an optical colon contour tracking system for robotic AD colonoscopy. Our aim is to make colonoscopy easier and to enable complex operations. To achieve this, we want to use robotic assistance. And we think that it can look like that. So we have a master console where the user is standing and then control and positioning arm where the actually robotic assisted colonoscope is sitting and performing the colonoscopy. And especially we want the insertion of the colonoscopy to be simplified. And this should be done more or less autonomously so that the user on the master's console just give the input forward or backward. However, the robotic system must recognize the contour of the intestine in order to capture the information of the curved pathway of the intestine to enable injury-free and painless insertion of the endoscope. For this, we want to use a soft sensor which is placed in front of the head of the colonoscope. Because it's flexible mounted in front of the endoscope, it is distinguished from the intestine and follows the curved pathway. Therefore, the mechanical setup is rather simple. So we used our self-developed colonoscope by attaching a camera on the head and then doing our image acquisition on a Raspberry Pi and analyze the images on a PC with MATLAB. The Ceph sensor itself is inserted via working channel and inflated in the intestine with air using a syringe. It looks then something like that where we can see the sphere of the balloon in front of us. For the algorithm, at first we have to capture an image. In a column model, what we used, it looks something like that. So you see the intestine, and in front of us, the big yellow sphere, which is our balloon. We're loading then this image into MATLAB and performing some pre-processing, where this original image is then put into a grayscale image with an increased contrast. And on this increased contrast image, we are performing a half transformation. And this allows us to identify geometric figures, which in our case is a circle because the balloon looks in the two-dimensional image like a circle. For this purpose, an edge image is generated. And on each of these edge points, we are drawing another circle and storing it into an achromatic field. And in this field, there are always overlaps, which you can see here is a little bit darker than on the other side. And at that point where the most overlaps are is actually our searched circle center. Now that we know where the center of the circle is, we can draw it in our image. You can see it here that the circle is actually our balloon. Moreover, we can calculate the derivation to a certain point, and the vector that is calculated indicates the direction on which the endoscope must move in order to follow the contour of the intestine. To validate the algorithm, 400 images were taken in a color model, and of great interest for us was the calculation time of the half transformation. Therefore, we used the function stopwatch in MATLAB. So the result, for an example video, you can see it here. So we see that we have identified the balloon as a circle and it's getting the point, center point, and we can then see in green the calculate vector to a specific point. In addition, we show the user here that the calculated vector and also the center of the circles. 
And on average, the half transformation took about 125 milliseconds. And by 88% of all images, the balloon was also identified as a balloon with a circle is. In 2% of the images, several circles were found, which is why it was not possible to distinguish which circles belonged to the balloon. And in 10% of the images, no circle was identified at all. All in all, it is possible to obtain information on the curved pathway of the intestine with the system. And the half transformation works fine to identify the balloon as a circle in the image. And it can also be integrated into a larger robotic system. However, the illumination of the intestine and the balloon is insufficient at the moment, which is why it was not always detected due to a low contrast. In addition, the high computational effort of the half transformation is uncovered by a loss of speed, which you can see in the video that we only have about five frames per second if we want to get about 20, 25 frames per second. Well, to conclude, a proof of concept is shown, and it is possible to use a balloon to sense the contour of the intestine wall and capture it in images, and this allows us the localization of the endoscopes relative to the balloon. Thank you for listening and your interest. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me. Thank you.